Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about the field attribute groups in Odo 16. The field attribute groups is used when you need to give a condition for a field to make it visible depending on the groups. So I'll show you how to give the group attribute for a field in Odo 16. So as you can see, this is my custom module that is a company management. If you go to the backend here, as you can see in the security directory, I have given an XML file to create a group ma called manager. So as you can see that I've given a group manager here for my custom module company management. And after giving the code, you need to make sure that you give the XML file in the manifest of your custom module. So as you can see here that I've given the record ID and I've given the name as manager and here I have specified the category ID which I've given here and I've given the other details regarding the group that I've created and after giving the code you can run the code and make sure that you give the XML file in the manifest of your custom module and if you go to the UI you need to upgrade the module as you have created a new XML file so let me just upgrade the module from here and after upgrading the module you can go to the settings and after going, going to the settings you can go to the users and if you check here you, you can see that your custom group is created for your custom module and you can see that only I've given the group for manager you can see that the group is created and now let me show you how to grave the group attribute for your field in what is 16 so for that if you go to the custom view that I've created and here I've given the group access for the field called phone so I just want this field to be available only if the group the user is manager that is the user group of this custom module for the user is manager so after giving the group attribute here I have specified the module name so as you can see the module name for my custom module as company management and here after that, you need to give the record ID of your group that you want to give for the field. So if you go to the XML file here, as you can see the record ID that I've created for this group manager is the management group manager. So you can just copy it from here and paste it after giving the module name and after giving the necessary details here. You can run the code and make sure you upgrade your custom module here after going to the apps. In order to reflect your changes in the UI, you need to just upgrade the module from here after giving the necessary code from the backend. And after that, first let me just make sure that the user is given the group as manager. So if you go here, you can see that I've given it as manager and if you go to the custom app here that is company management in the views you can see the phone field is visible for manager so now let me go again to the settings and go to the users and let me just change the user and after changing the user you can just give save it and let me go to the company management here in the views let me just refresh it so after refreshing it you can see the phone field is invisible now because we have changed the group for this company management from manager so we have defined in the backend that the field phone should be only visible or should be only seen when the group of the user for the company management as manager so only the manager would be shown with this field so according to your needs you can give the group attributes for the field in order 16 so that's all for today thank you